Hi everyone. I hope you all had a, a lovely weekend. So um, I just would love to encourage uh, those among us that are going through difficult, difficult times and um, you know, it's, it's especially those who have uh, specific needs that they're um, uh, contending for at the moment, you know. And um, basically, uh, I want to use the story in the book of Ezra to um you know to to see how i can encourage you shall we say you know so basically in, in the book of ezra it tells the story of um how the um the the people wanted to go and rebuild the temple uh because a decree had been given that they would that they should be able to do that basically but um but some other people came and tried to put a halt by proclaiming that it's illegal what they were doing and um, basically saying you can't do this it's illegal you can't do it it's illegal you can't do it and so rather than the those people that um, were rebuilding the temple rather than than them um step taking a step back what they did instead was they um basically sent a um, uh, sent uh, a letter to the king and said, look, look, king, this is the situation, but this is what was decreed. And for them to do that, a prophetic word was given to them. So basically, um, the prophets of the Lord prophesied, you know. So after the people who came to contend against them, to say, you can't do it, you can't do it, it's illegal. After those people went away, the prophets of God came and said and, and prophesied basically. So after they prophesied, the, the 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 people that were building the temple gathered themselves together and went and um, and pursued uh, the matter by um, but you know by sending message to the king. And then the king had a look and realized that actually a decree had been um, issued. Uh, you know, saying that the temple must be finished and it must not be interrupted, etc., etc. So this king, uh, King Darius, this one is, the, the king who gave the decree initially is uh, Cyrus. And now King Darius is now issuing another decree on top of the one that King Cyrus did. And when the King Darius was doing that, he said, he, he which I found it really interesting, he said, he said, yeah, so you guys finish the temple and, 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 you know, and pray for me and my sons, you know, because he recognized that um, they were rebuilding the temple for the God of heaven, the creator of heavens and the earth, you know, the maker of all things. He recognized this. And so he said, yeah, yeah, yeah you guys, you know, I'm going to Add, add to the decree and I'm going to make this decree etc etc and also um you know pray for me and and also for my sons I thought that was really uh <laughs> that was really interesting that he did that but anyway coming back to our point you know when I read that bit I remembered the I remembered one of the times I've had a an encounter with the Lord, you know, and there was one encounter in particular that kept on coming to my mind. And um, it was a, it was an encounter where it was a, an experience where I felt the awesomeness of God, but I felt it for the things around me. So, I was in, I was in the midst of um this is a true story okay I was in the midst of um of um chained creatures shall I say they were chained they were in chains um I, I don't know if they were I don't know what they were okay I'm, I'm not even going to say say what I don't know let me just say what I do know these were things creatures that were chained they were under the sea under the depth of the ocean is where they were but they were in chains and then there were other spirits around as well and I felt the presence and the awe and the majesty and the fear of God 
uh, at that time and um, but I felt it from a place of knowing of of being on on the side of God as as here's how I felt it I felt it from as he's my father and these things can't do anything to me is is how I felt it in in that experience now I felt the presence of the Lord where I felt the awesomeness of God and the fear and the dread of God but it was just me me and and my encounter with God, you know, that was me and the Lord. There were no, uh, I don't want to say fallen angels. I don't know what you want to call those entities. I don't know what they were, but there were no weird creatures or things, falling things or whatever. There was, it was just me uh, experiencing God and, uh, and the fear of God consumed me and consumed the whole atmosphere. And, uh, and, um, and it was a very, very, um, it's one of those experiences that I, I can never forget, you know, because it, it left, um, yeah, it, it, it leaves something in you, you know. But this isn't the experience that I'm talking about. I'm talking about the one where I, like I said, I felt the awesomeness of God, but, the, but I felt it from the point of view of he's my father. And these creatures cannot touch me because it was an, it was an amazing experience. I've probably touched on it previously in a previous video. Um, and you know, I, I just want to say that um, God is God is God. You know, <clears throat> He's amazing, and I suppose I suppose because this is the other thing that was coming to my mind. I suppose. That's why the Bible says that God resists the proud and gives grace to the humble. Because I was thinking about it and I thought, yeah, of course, he's awesome. The fact that he doesn't beat people up in the head when they do wrong things or, or, um, obvious, or the fact that he's not obviously manifesting himself every, every second of our, of our breathing and he just lets us get on with it gives makes us forget that he is there and he's mag he's majestic and he's all he's he's everything in all and uh and in in um and everything belongs to him you know we can forget that and um excuse me we can forget that and we can also um forget that um uh he's not on the same equal plane as he's not on the same equal place as we are which is what i mean by i suppose that's this that scripture that says that god resists the proud and gives grace to the humble you know because there's something about pride i don't know why i'm talking about pride honestly but if you don't mind me just just sharing with you what was coming through my mind as I was going through this book of uh, this portion of Ezra. By the way, this is Ezra chapter five. Um, yeah, so um, it's just that that whole thing that um, pride is like exalting oneself and disregarding that we are this we, we disregarding the script the the place the scripture that says that um, the clay, it's like the potter asking the, the uh, sorry, it's like the clay asking the, the, um, the, the person who's um, uh, making the pot, the pot, you know, asking the potter, what are you creating? You know, and um, yeah, you can't do that. The, the potter is creating something with the clay and then the clay turns around and says, what are you doing? You know, shouldn't you be doing this instead? Why are you making me into a cup? Shouldn't you be making me into a, into a bowl? I want to be a bowl, you know? <laughs> and, um, and it doesn't work like that, you know? And I suppose pride makes uh, us, us humans, it, it dislocates us from the reality. You know, it puts us in a place where it's, it's, where it's we're not... Um, we're not walking in a, in a, in the truth, you know, 
um, is false, you know, because uh, it puts me in a place where I'm, I'm forgetting that um, that there is an an awesome God that um, that um, has created me and He's created me with His love and loving kindness, and He has a plan and a purpose for me. And apart from all of that, He wants me to um, come to Him when I have a need, you know, and He wants to help me. He, the Bible says that God is close to those who are broken hearted. He says that, uh, come to him with your needs, you know, and he says he will not let you go hungry, you know, and uh, et cetera, et cetera, you know, that um, look at the sparrows and um, look how he cares for them, how much more you and I, you know. So, um, so yeah, so I, I hope uh, this is, uh, I hope this is good, what I've just shared right now. Um, I hope it's um encouraging somebody it's just a, a quick video of encouragement but it's gone on for 10 minutes now <laughs> so um so yeah so all right so we'll have a lovely evening everyone and uh, please be encouraged and please uh, draw near to the lord okay and um and know that he will draw near to you as well see you bye